Thank you very much. So, uh, this was a nice story, because I'm going to try and pick it up a bit. The CBD and N's been getting a bit heavy, but this was interesting. Uh, it sounds like there's this vibe going on in, in Israel with zebrafish. Oh, my God. They tune zebrafish help scientists speed up tests for medical cannabis strange. Uh, strains. <coughs> Unusual research approach speeds up discovery <coughs> of which cannabis plants work best for which medical conditions. <coughs> different strains of cannabis are helpful for treating different medical <coughs> conditions. Testing each type for its therapeutic potential using mice or people is time-consuming. Israeli researchers discovered that they can speed up the process the by using yeah. zebrafish. So they go on to say all the biotech names and all that, but they say with the help of the zebrafish model, cannabis can companies can perform a preliminary, rapid, and accurate sorting of medical cannabis strains with potential to treat various indications. They can later analyze exactly which active ingredient is responsible for that therapeutic mm. effect. Yo, mm. yo, that's special. So they say that basically that this, they say they say that what makes the zebrafish so kiff for doing this is that it has a rapid system of identification, but most importantly, its skull is see-through, so they can observe its brain. Without being invasive. Yes. Yes. Without cutting it open. Yeah. That's fantastic. And you know, the Israelis have been allowed to study the plants since, what, the 70s? Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. I know it's been a long time. I, I love the this. The 80s. How, like, how, long, how do you think they administer it? Well, this is my thing. I was asking, I kept asking myself, is this SpongeBob rules? Because how do they keep the joint lit underwater? No, no, they, they, they just pump bubbles, millions of bubbles of nano, nano <laughs> bubbles. bubbles. <laughs> nano bubbles of smoke. So there's Bad a okay. smoke. Or medibles. <laughs> well, I was going to say, if it's, if it's edibles and they're just like pouring like in the liquid, then these things are being like totally saturated and like the whole body's going. <laughs> uh, maybe they're living in ethanol dams. Do they have a chef cooking infused food in the back, uh, fish food for the zebrafish? Yeah, maybe that. Fish? Yeah, it was a crazy story, I though. I their lines, like, That's start... wonderful. <laughs> ...moving and stuff. Play music and it starts, like, tuning in vibes, you know? I think <laughs> certain music, eh? <laughs> and, and no fish died. Huh? No fish yeah, died. no fish were involved no, in no, the no, testing no, of no. this cannabis. But you say their music, I think, they, I think that their favourite musician is SpongeBob Marley, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant! <laughs> but it is interesting to see that the kind of biotech... And science that is going yeah. on with cannabis research and that. Yeah. So it's cool that's a fishy mm -hmm. thing and all that. And I'm sure the fish are maybe a bit happier or maybe they got low key anxiety and it's helping. <laughs> <laughs> no, but strain specific for certain ailments is actually special. That it is beautiful. It so is. Do, 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 do the fish dog around the other way in the fishbowl? Like the ones that are that are stone go the opposite way? I don't know. Or do they you just know, sit I in the middle of the I see this question so often on the cannabis stone. groups like, what is the best strain for? this disease and that disease and exactly. you know, people are asking on Facebook all the time so I think it's brilliant that they're doing this you know your different compounds will affect your different receptors mm. and if you can lo you know locate exactly what's wrong with your body that's, exactly. that's to me is next this level is brilliant Mm. And they're saying that this research is being conducted to determine the therapeutic potential of cannabis strains for sleep problems, seizures, Parkinson's disease and pain. Uh, additional indications to be studied include autism and anxiety. Yo. But what they effectively say is also because th that there's this new these new advances in tech, it's making it a lot more accessible and attractive to investors. Mm. So they're seeing that now instead of having to go through this crazy and expensive process, it can still be crazy and expensive, but a lot less so, you know? But does that not then make it more accessible to the general person? Exactly. It does. Mm -hmm. So you want those big investors at the end of the day. Again. That's research. That's the things that guys have to <laughs> spend lots of time of. looking we at small results research. like this. Uh, okay. And they need yeah, more they people to take the step and find yeah. something that, that's worthy of researching. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 This is beautiful. I mean, what's the worst thing that can happen from all of this research? The world gets healthier and happier. Boom. Or all the test subjects get stoned. Yeah. Same thing. <laughs> healthier and happier. Free smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I don't know. For those of you who've seen it half-baked, I think this is the lad with the oak where, where Shergood <laughs> Jenkins or whatever old Dave Chappelle played the janitor. Yeah. And they must have had like, low-key fish tanks at the back then skitting the chronic. Yeah, <laughs> got that brick and he smelled it out. So why not? Have they spoke about human trials. So the thing is, they're saying that human expensive. trials are expensive. 
Very. That's long. Dude, I bet you they would get volunteers for free. No, well, they can't. That's not a good thing. thing. That's not Labs and everything, but yeah. When you do clinical trials, there's a very strict process that has to be followed, and there's a lot of rig- like a lot of procedures that have to go through. But not the effect, yeah. You have to be compensated, and you have to have this, and you have to have that. I mean, I'm not an expert in it, but I know that it's a ball ache. <laughs> yeah. Absolute ball ache. Well, it's got to eventually happen. Well, yeah. I mean, they're going to use fish until they can't use fish no more. Yeah. Until yeah. they yeah. have to start putting it on people. On rats or whatever, yeah. I mean, yeah. Normal life stuff. I wonder if they're going to try and do the monkey mask thing again. Ah. <laughs> Yo! No, 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 no. Wouldn't be surprised. No, no. Like, do you think they would try to get the LD40 of it? LD40? Because they still taste LD40, the I think it's called. Some products on or LD50. LD50. LD50 is so. what it's called. So while we buy some time, and before we get onto our high five with Praxis, Praxis Glass, mm. uh, please remember to vote in this week's Zoll poll. Have you ever smuggled something? Smarties into the cinema? Never ever? What was the other option? Smuggled lag. Uh, yeah, all the time. <laughs> something like that. So Dan's talking about something relevant in stoner culture, the monkey thing. We've always been told uh, one of those things in propaganda is that... Um, it cooks your brain. And what it certainly does many things to your brain, the study <coughs> that they based this on, they they basically gassed monkeys to death with weed smoke. Yes. <laughs> so these things that died, they basically drowned in weed. Yes. Or like, they yeah. or like no suffocated. access to oxygen at yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. Or like when you come home and you hear the, the car running but the garage door still closed. Yeah, it's that. That. <laughs> so that's what they did to these monkeys. And the LD50 that Dan's talking about is called a lethal dose 50. Which I think is the rate at which a population consumes something and half of them will die from its consumption. Mm. Yeah, like it's lethal dose. It, yeah. You take a human's weight and at that dose it is what it is. You take that mm. much, you will die. There's no question about it. And there's mm. no, there is no LD50, or there was, but the numbers from monkeys that they've literally, like you said, they smoked them out. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 they killed them, it. they gassed them. They did not do a true test mm. and inject them with, say, 500 milligrams or a thousand or five thousand milligrams of THC. No, they would box them to death. One Nothing would have happened. They, they would have fucking fallen asleep and, and that's it. Because they can't yeah. pass through the blood brain barrier so you technically you cannot overdose. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, your body couldn't absorb X amount and once all your receptors, every single receptor is now covered in a, CB, in a THC molecule. Yeah. That's why it's nothing else it can do. from alcohol is because yeah. uh, paramedics refer to it as toxic shock. You don't pass out, your body shuts down mm. yeah. because it realizes you are poison. Mm. And it's basically you're about to die, and it's mm. saving you by making you pass. <coughs> so you cannot get toxic shock when it comes to cannabis. No, these things, these monkeys were suffocated to death. And that's what all the propaganda was based upon. Yeah. Mm. But let's face it, I bet there are some of you oaks sitting at home that wishing you'd go out like that. <laughs> <laughs> Where you're low key, oh, it's like up in your, oh, it's even mm, up in your next thing. It's so hashy up in your, you never open your eyes again. Heavy days, heavy tests. But that's what we used to hear at school, you know? Yeah. You know, it was hate Dungeons and Dragons, hate Nirvana, hate weed, yeah. you know? Yeah. And that was But that's another story. Yeah, <laughs> There's a <new> story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's like, imagine we use Jules' leaf blower, ducker blower thing in this room, in the hot box. Just us sitting here and let that thing blaze, we'll suffocate. Yeah. Yeah, the boom zooka, eh? Yeah. The yeah. boom zooka. Because what is the math? Because they say it's something like you'd have to consume like 15 kilograms 15 or a couple kilograms. of hundred kilos <laughs> yeah. in 15 yeah. minutes mm. to die yeah. from it. But you would because co- the you would CBD is the automatic antidote. No, f- quite consume 15 kilos. Like yeah, what's the it. number? Well, you'd have Somehow. to eat it or eat smoke it. like a crazy Fucking amount. Hell, imagine eating 15 kilos, of course you would die. <laughs> Your, your stomach would just like... You know, no, you bro, just, you're going to fit it. Yeah, yeah, you exactly. did poop at the same time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 15 kilos. You yeah. fucking... Let's see if you live. <laughs> Unless you process that 15, 15 kilos to down to dab and then, like, bake a cookie. <laughs> yes, it's a 15 kilo Yo. cookie. That's what I... I'm going to find kg of dab. Oaks are going to be cutting <laughs> fucking Malawi cobs here, man. We'll just make one big jelly baby. What's the flavor of my design? Sure.